Now, for part two of our lesson on in-context design, we'll pick this up where we left off, and that is we had just designed the base feature of our new component here in the assembly mode. So let's imagine that uh, we, we've uh, now proceeded with our design, and we realize that we need to make a modification to this part to add a whole pattern. Well, in order to edit this part within the context of the assembly, we select the part, and then we choose the Edit Component or Edit Part command, which shows up either in the pop-up toolbar or it's on my Command Manager toolbar. Now that we're in Edit Component mode, you'll notice some feedback on the screen that lets us know that we're in Edit Part mode or Edit Component mode. First off, our Command Manager toolbar button is depressed. Second, you've noticed the color of the component has changed. Now, depending on your SolidWorks settings, your color may not change. That's a, a user preference. I've got mine set to change to a pink color so that I'm very much aware when a part is being edited. Finally, in the status bar, you can see that we're in edit part mode. So anything we do at this point, any sketches or features that we add, will belong just to this part. Now, what we'd like to do here is go ahead and add a whole pattern so I'll create a sketch on the top face of my model and let's orient normal to that. Now if I switch to a wireframe display here you can see that there's an existing hole pattern in the gearbox housing and we would like to copy those hole circles and uh, create a new feature in our part. So I'll use the convert entities command I'll select the four circles on my housing and check mark OK on that and you can see how SolidWorks has copied those circles into sketch entities in my active sketch. Now those circles are black meaning they're fully defined so I do not need to add dimensions their placement is given by the whole location and size in the in the parent part in the housing part so again that's the benefit of an in-context design is that our intention is for that feature in our cover plate to be governed by that feature in the housing. Now let's just choose from our features toolbar an extruded cut feature and I can choose a through all option. When I choose through all this doesn't mean through every part in the assembly again it just means through the part that's being edited. Now that I'm done adding that feature we can see that it shows up here in the feature manager tree cut extrude one I need to remember to exit out of the edit part mode in order to return back to the assembly mode where I can do assembly related functions so as a last step I'll click the edit component command that returns us to edit the edit assembly level and we've just successfully gone through the workflow of editing a part adding a feature in the context of the assembly and returning to edit assembly mode stay tuned for part three